hi everybody today in this session we will check how to uh, use a snowflake table how to connect to snowflake and access the table and read the data from the table so to access the snowflake first of all you need to have an account in snowflake and uh, i have created uh, a trial version of uh, account in snowflake so this is my account and it has few uh, tables in it so so let's start uh, reading the data so to read the data first of all we need to create the metadata uh, for them uh, for snowflake so what we can do we can go to this uh, repository metadata here you can see we have snowflake so we can right click on it a snowflake connection click on snowflake connection give a proper name and the accounts and all those things so i have already created a connect uh, created a connection let me sort it so you can give a proper name then the account so the account will be uh, if you see this link so anything that uh, you can see there is uh, it uh, there is it's ov7 two seven nine six three dot ap hyphen southeast hyphen one then after that dot snowflake computing dot com starts so all the characters that are before this snowflake dot snowflake computing will be considered as their account so you need to just copy this part ov till one copy this but these uh, these are your uh, th this section this you know, string is your account and you need to put it here then provide the appropriate uh, username and the password provide the warehouse you can get this warehouse here if you uh, open this then you can see what is the uh, corresponding warehouse you are using this is the warehouse and you can provide the database you can see uh, the database so i have two database i'm using snowflake sample data and then this is my snowflake sample data this is the way uh, database i'm using then the schema you, if you see under this i can see the schema so i'm using tpchsf1 so this is a schema i am using then once you have provided all these details, you can click on test connection. So you can see if the uh, credentials are all correct, you will get a message connection successful. If there is uh, some issue, if the account or the password or the username uh, if anything is incorrect then it will throw the error so now you can see my connection is successful i can click, click on ok so once you click on ok you can go to next if you go to next so under this schema the schema i have mentioned tpchsf1 this is a schema i have mentioned so under this how many tables are there all of them will be uh, uh, displayed here you can see customer line item nation order part parts supply region and supplier so all those tables are uh, uh, available there we can see that from there so if i want to see uh, if i want to use only one table then i can select that particular table which one i want to use i can click on select deselect all i can select any one but what I can do uh, is I'm creating the metadata. So under this particular schema, so what all tables are there, if I select all of them, select all. So in different job, suppose say in one job, I'm using customer. In an, another job, I'm using line item. In another job, I'm using a nation. <laughs> then no need to create these connection one again and again. So, uh, so let me select all, then click on finish.
okay so now if i open this particular uh, snowflake metadata so here i can see the list of all tables that are present in my snowflake and its corresponding column okay so now i can read this particular uh, uh, snowflake uh, table so for that i can open a uh, job i have renamed it to snowflake and the job name i can go to designer and there I can check for the snowflake component for that what I need to do I need to write T snowflake let me search so you can see under cloud snowflake I have all the components related to snowflake so first of all before doing anything I need to first set up the connection so I can drag that and put it here this is my connection this is a snowflake connection I have used. So it came here. So let me click on that. Go to component. Okay. So here you can see the database uh, is snowflake. If you want to use any other database, then you can obviously you can do that. Like suppose I want to use uh, Teradata. So if I select Teradata, then rest all details will come here. Let me use, so a red sign is coming because few of the uh, packages are not installed. So that's why the red, uh, red sign is coming. So let me use Snowflake here. Okay. You can see uh, as I have selected Teradata, so some of the jars are not present. So this pop up, uh, you, you can see a warning coming. So I need to install those. So let me use uh, Snowflake here because I need to apply a click. I need to use a Snowflake table. So let me click on Snowflake, click on apply. And then already I have mentioned all the uh, metadata uh, for me. So instead of building, instead of putting all these things manually, account, user ID, password, warehouse, schema, and all those, I can directly go to this property type as repository. And I can this uh, I can click on this and it will uh, a new window will open where it will ask me which Snowflake connection you want to use. So I can use that. So here, all the account and everything will be coming. Account, user ID, password, warehouse, which we are using, schema and database, everything came here. Okay, so this is how we do the setup. Then we have some advanced setting, we, which we normally don't use. That is not physically required. So this is sufficient for us. So this is my uh, connection. Uh, we are opening the connection so under view i can always rename this particular uh, component name like snowflake okay so this says that my snowflake connection is created so after that what i need to do once i open the connection I need to read the data from the, uh, I need to read the data uh, from Snowflake. So for that, what I need to do, I have a component called T Snowflake input. Let me drag it here. Here, what I can do, I can click on databases uh, uh, Snowflake. Here also I can provide all the details, what is the username, password and everything, but no need of this. There are two options. Uh, you can see connection component, use this component, or if I click on use this component, then I need to see, I need to uh, provide all these details like account, user ID, password, and everything here. Instead of that, what I can do is I have already opened a connection. 
I can click on the drop down. I can see this no con component is there. So if I click on that, so so it will use the details that is already present here. It will use those details. And then what the details you need to fill uh, under table, you just need to select which is the appropriate table you want to use. So click on this three dot. It will search for the table under that schema. So let me select the appropriate table here. Let me use customer. Then click on OK. Okay. Let me click on OK. Let's not do any other changes. We will check on these uh, uh, things later. So this is my uh, connection and uh, this is how I'm reading the table. So let me read that. Uh, after I read the data, I need to show the data somewhere, right? So let me use T-log row. So I'll connect this input to this T-log row. Now I should be connecting this connection to this DB input, but it is not a straight connection. What I need to do, I need to click on trigger. I can use on sub job, okay, or on component, okay. I can do that. So let me use on component, okay, means if I use on sub job, okay, so this is a particular sub job. This is a sub job. I can see, you can see this is a sub job. So you can see this is also a job, sub job for us. So once this particular sub job is completed, if I click on trigger on sub job, okay. If that particular uh, sub job is successfully completed, then the next sub job to where, where we are connecting that will get triggered. There is uh, and suppose I want to just check if that sub job is not okay, then I need to process another flow. So in that case also I can select that. If the sub job is not okay, then the what is the next flow I need to use? I can use that. Similarly, if the component this snow con is completed successfully, then what is the next process I will be triggering? I can always do that trigger uh, dependency here. And if that component fails, it encountered any error, then what is the flow I should be triggering? So I can do that. And the run if if the uh, based on conditional also I can run a different I can run different flow. So that is also possible here. So let me use on component. Okay. Let me connect to this T T D B input. You can see here the a link is having on component okay now my job is done let me run this job You can see once once this connection is okay, then you can see this particular uh, okay symbol comes, and then it is reading the data from DB input and it is publishing the data in T log row. You can see the data is uh, popping up here. There are total around one lakh fifty thousand records, so all of them came here. You can see those data available here. Now, uh, now we got to know how to read the data from Snowflake. Let, let us check on the other options that we have. 
So here, what it is doing, if I just select on the table, so whatever columns are there, it is trying to select all of them. So if I want to do some customization, like uh, I want to uh, do some more uh, uh, things, uh, put some filter and all those. Okay, let me not go to manual first. So we have a condition here. So this is like a where condition. So if I want to put any condition on some particular column, then I can do that. Uh, so let me try to put one. So let me try to pull this particular uh, value. This is my first column. What is this column name? What is the first column name? This is T customer key. So I can put a filter. Uh, C cust key equal to one one seven six five eight. So I did. Uh, this is the where condition for the. Uh, this will be select star from. It will internal. It will treat it as select star from customer where. C cust key equal to one one seven six five eight. Let me run it. Let's monitor this particular section. You can see this got okay. That's why this got triggered. So now one record is now full as I have put a filter. Let me check the data. You can see one record is getting pulled now. Now let's check the other options. We can go and check on manual queries. Suppose we want to use a manual query. Like what I can do, select star from Customer, this is the column name. I'll use limit 10. I can use some custom uh, uh, some uh, query. Uh, okay, now let me re uh, run it. So if I'm using, if you can see, if I'm using a manual query, then that condition part is getting disappeared because you will be putting all those things here. So it will be the full SQL query that you are trying to use. And if you click on guess schema, it will check if the schema here is in sync with this query or not. Now let me run. So currently I had one record, but now what is the logic I'm putting? Select star, it will pull all the columns from customer limit 10. So it will restrict to 10 records. So now you can see uh, uh, limit 10 we have used. So all the 10 records got selected. Uh, first 10 records that it is uh, trying to reverse, it got selected and it got printed here. And you can see here, 10 records are print, uh, displayed. So in this section, we uh, checked how to create a connection uh, uh, for Snowflake in Talent and how to read the data uh, from uh, Snowflake table. I hope this session is helpful. If you think the uh, video is informative, then please like and share the video and subscribe my channel. Thanks everybody.